Hello dear learners, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Shobhit Vadva, Associate Professor at Ideal Institute of Management and Technology, Guru Gobind Singh Indraprastha University, Delhi. The module we will be discussing today is on the topic Teacher in Digital Age, Issues and Concerns. The learning objectives of this module are, first to understand the concept of digital age and digital information, to enumerate the various characteristics of digital information and emerging technologies, to describe the skills required by teachers in digital age, to analyze the various research studies conducted for inclusion of technology and ICT in teacher education to discuss the issues and challenges faced by teacher education in digital age and to highlight the various concerns of teacher education in digital age. Friends, technology has changed the way we live, work, shop and play. Increasingly, education is moving into the online world. Pedagogies have changed to engage the latest digital technologies. Digitalization of education system has tremendously helped students in their study and research. But the explosion of information accessible and the skill to network openly with resources of information from a diversity of viewpoints does not make the role of a teacher irrelevant. Moreover, in this era, the role of teacher has become more crucial than ever. The methods of distribution are now a blend between face to face and some other combination of virtual interfaces. The question arises, how has the teacher education changed in this digital age? Let us discuss. The digital age also commonly known as the computer age or information age is a period in human history characterized by the shift from traditional industry that the industry revolution brought through industrialization to an economy based on the manipulation of information that is an information society. The information age formed by capitalizing on the computer micro miniaturization advances with a transition spanning from the advent of the personal computer in late 1970s to the internet reaching a critical mass in the early 1990s and the adoption of such technology by the public in two decades after 1990. The term digital has come from a noun digit representing a finger. So, digital implies a thing that can be counted on fingers which indicates a number. Digital technology enables immense amount of information to be compressed on small storage devices that can be easily preserved and transported. Digitization also quickens data transmission speeds. Digital technology has transformed how people communicate, learn and work. In the early 1980s, enhanced fiber optics enabled the development of digital communication networks. Digital technology replaced analog signals for many telecommunication forms particularly cellular telephone and cable systems. In 1998, commercial digital television broadcasts premiered in the United States. Communication satellites known as direct broadcast satellite transmitted compressed digital signals for viewers to receive several hundred television programming choices. Other forms of digital information including audio programs were sent to subscribers via satellite. In the early 2000s, digital computers ranging from laptops to internet networks came in many sizes and performed various tasks. Supercomputers perform complex mathematical calculation and analyzing vast amounts of data. The launch of the Indian National Satellite INSET in 1980 and its availability for educational purposes led the Ministry of Education to take over the production of educational television programs for transmission via Doordarshan. 
Inset for Education was conceived as a tripartite project and was supported by UNDP, UNESCO and Government of India. Establishment of CIET and SIETs has been a remarkable step for upgradation and inclusion of technology in education. The government initiated the computer literacy program in 2000 with the aim of providing computer literacy in 10,000 schools, computer assisted learning in 1,000 schools and computer based learning in 100 schools. These 100 schools were called smart schools and were designed to be the agents of change seeking to promote the extensive use of computers in the teaching learning process. Smart classes and online learning material has, to, has also been introduced widely in Indian education system to cope up with the challenges of digital age. But still a lot has to be done. Teachers in digital age are still facing many challenges. Now let us discuss the various characteristics of this digital information. Digital information is synchronized. It requires language in the form of symbols that is bits 0 and 1. It is less erroneous. Copying can be easily done in digital information due to lack of errors and infinite copies can be made. Granularity, it is a feature of digital information specifying precision of information. Digital data can be compressed, sent and then decompressed at the site of consumption. Let us now discuss some of the emerging technologies in the digital age. It is expected of the teachers to be intimate with these technologies. We are nowadays dealing with mobile web 2, web conferencing and webinars, e-reader devices and software for e-books, open source educational websites, tablets, iPads, smartphones and many more. Now let us see what skills are required to cope up with these. Digital age skills also known as 21st century skills refer to a broad set of knowledge, skills, work habits and character traits that are believed and practiced by educators, school reformers, college professors, employers and others to be critically important to success in today's world. Particularly in collegiate programs and contemporary careers and workplaces. Digital age skills have become the basic need of the present century. These skills are global awareness skills, which includes understanding of how countries, corporations and communities all over the world are interconnected, interrelated and interdependent. Cultural literacy skills consisting of appreciation of diversity of cultures, acculturation, enculturation and transcreation. ICT skills including ability to find, analyze, evaluate and make appropriate use of information. Scientific literacy skills consisting of understanding universe through observation, interaction and experimentation. And finally, functional literacy skills which include use of information and knowledge for living healthy, happy, meaningful and long life. To develop the digital age skills, a sizable number of teacher education institutions in India have initiated into ICT in education either as a core course or as optional course. In spite of the impeding factors namely limited staff, inadequate laboratories with maintenance problems, sizable classes, the courses have been found to realize their objectives reasonably. When we talk about research studies to see the status of technology integration in education, it is found that there has been rare work on developing language learning strategies and learner autonomy through web blogs. blogs not only provide teachers with an exciting new way to approach communicative language learning, these also give students a new reason to enjoy reading and writing. Educational technology and ICT in education have demonstrated their values, but technology in education is not yet fully integrated. The world is going digital, 
but there are many challenges and issues which we are going to discuss now. Firstly, there is a need to shift to more powerful learning paradigms such as linear to hypermedia, instruction to discovery and construction, teacher centered to learner centered education, learning how to navigate and learn, teacher as transmitter to teacher as facilitator. Secondly, it is an age of information and communication technology, but a large number of teachers at all levels are ICT illiterate. The students being latest generation are excelling the teachers in ICT being better exposed to ICT. Thirdly, there is information explosion and media implosion in all facets of life and living, but still teachers have knowledge poverty. It is because there is more of media crowd than media culture. Most of the teachers do not know where, from and how to access information. They do not have adequate knowledge base of the uniform resource locator in short URLs. Also, most of them are not skilled on surfing skills such as selecting, skimming, scanning, switching and authenticating. Also, there is absence of technology integrated education. On one side, there is international standard digital network. At the same time, absence of interconnected networks, even now the technology has guest appearance in education. Be it digital lesson designing, use of MS Office, web based educational instruction, educational social networking, e learning resources management system computer based time space personal management or computer based teaching learning and evaluation. Everywhere there are digital products, wristwatch, wall clock, radio, TV, computer, cell phones, iPads, iPods, but very often teachers do not know how this digital data is generated and displayed. Digital technologies ought to be introduced right from the pre-primary level. Another point to mention is that there is very thin population of techno savvy, info savvy and net savvy teachers. It is because the education system as a whole has been relatively indifferent towards this techno culture. The educational radio, educational television, educational computers, EduSet, SIETs have lost their educational identities. If we talk about the latest catchword in educational circle, it is constructivism, which is applied to both learning theory and epistemology. Here the role of a teacher is as a facilitator who encourages learners to reflect, analyze, design and develop the process of knowledge construction and the learners are active agents who engage in own knowledge construction by integrating new information into, into their schema. Learning can be seen as a process that of understanding and contextualizing socially, culturally, historically and politically relevant issues. Hence, it is important that the teacher's role should be revitalized and the teacher education system has to inculcate the culture of germination of new ideas, incubation, innovation, creation and construction. Another issue in this context is that the teaching learning process has the presence of open education resources for learners and learning, content uh, that is GeoGebra, Google Earth etc., creativity like hot potato, CMAP etc for evaluation, R campus and Mahara etc. Open education resources for teachers, teacher educators and facilitating learning, learning management system like Moodle and Wikispaces, teacher managed communication platforms like Classroom 2 and WebQuest, statistical tools for data processing, e-journals, e-books, e-newsletters, webinars, web conferencing and lot more. But the irony is that all these are segregated and need to be interwoven. 
It is also worth thinking that many teachers have become dependent on what is available ready-made. Earlier it was scissor, cut and paste method. Now there is a shift to copy, block and paste. In this digital age, teachers need to learn to be prosumers. A prosumer is a person who consumes and produces media. There should be an equation between downloading and uploading. A teacher should be human source then resource. Another major issue is that most of the libraries countrywide are house of hard bound books and journals. There is a need to enrich the libraries through e-books, e-journals, e-newsletters, CDs, DVDs and digital networking information explosion and constant geographical space demands storage of the learning resources to be in the digital form that is the e-form. Also when we talk about the three R's in education, we come to reading, writing and arithmetic. But that is a talk of past. Today creation and communication of any message far and wide demands technology base and should not be ignored. As per the specific feature, digital information is free of time barrier, distance barrier and can be presented in near natural form by generating view compositions through audio, visuals, animation, color hue and saturation. This should be realized by the stakeholders of education. People with special needs have always been an inseparable part of our society and that of our education system. Teacher for inclusive education in the digital age has to be highly versatile, resourceful and techno literate because the inclusive class may be composed of audio impaired, visually challenged, deaf, dumb and children with learning difficulties and disabilities. Packages like JAWS and Open Book are available for the visually challenged with difficulty but in English language only. Inclusive education demands multi-sensory throw in the class setting as well as personalized education and group education. Most importantly, the digital age teacher has to be info savvy. The teacher ought to be fully skilled on info savvy skills such as asking, accessing, analyzing, applying and assessing. But the info savvy teachers are very rare. Similarly, the digital age teacher need to be a techno pedagogue. He should be fully proficient in applying the principle of techno pedagogy such as media message compatibility, proximity of message forms, integration of message, media and modes, media language proficiency, message authenticity and media fidelity. But technology finds more of integration in other fields than in education. When we talk about digital technology, there is an overflow of information as it has become easier to express and assess the views from people all across the globe. With access to this ample information, students have their own thoughts and concerns which need to be catered. The teacher should be well versed with technology and any change or update in relation to subject matter or in general to be able to make the students participate in discussions and coming up with solution or consensus about an issue. Also, there is technological revolution in teacher education. We have initiated into open education, open courseware, open source software, open content and open research. There are proposals for e-teacher education. Smart classrooms are emerging wherein we have e-learning and e-testing. Terms like Wi-Fi, iPad, e-book, e-reader, e-newsletter, webinar are widely used. Digital lesson designs and e-portfolios have become common features. There are a variety of media available everywhere, but in this age of media crowd, there is a problem of media culture. In this world of media implosion, there is a problem of media choice. 
what to interact with, what not to interact with, what to view, what not to view is a big problem. Every teacher in this information age need to be educational technologist. Education has not been in a position to keep pace with the technological evolution. Technology is there in the industry, technology is there in commerce and business, technology is there in medical field, technology is there with the vendors and hawkers, but rarely with teachers. Media and technology in this digital age are the extension of human beings. These should be optimally generated and utilized for the realization of happy, productive and peaceful life. Digital technology has a lot to offer to the present day society, but it demands civilized media culture. It is a choice to decide to make or mar through digital age. A majority of teachers neither know the composition nor about the characteristics and functioning of digital media. Teachers do not have media language proficiency, so they fail to receive through media and vice versa. There is a need to learn to achieve a balance between the real and virtual. Both the extremes are socially undesirable. Should multiple touch or single touch screens be used? Can there be compromise with the chalk and talk? These questions need to be answered. Dear learners, till now we have discussed about the various issues and challenges of teacher education in digital age. Now we are going to highlight the various concerns in this regard. The need of the R is to have techno friendly teacher and teacher friendly technology, which means teachers need to be interested in technology, value technology and have favorable attitude towards technology. While all forms of technology including laptops, LCD projectors, radio, TV, computers, internet, iPad, mobile, web 2, ebook and e-reader should be accessible and intelligible to the teachers. Teacher education need to be digital technology integrated, ICT in education, digital lesson designing, educational web designing, web based instruction, computer based system analysis and designing in education, electronic data processing in education, production of computer assisted learning material, digital technology based courses and programs should be integrated in teacher education curricula. There should be courses and programs on digital technology such as digital lesson designing, web based instruction, designing e-newsletter, e-book, e-reader, courses like diploma of digital technology in education, bachelor of digital technology in education, master of digital te technology in education. There should be due focus on digital technology education and digital technology in education. There should be professional development programs for teachers and teacher educators on digital technology education and digital technology in education. The digitalized processes like management information system, series constituted of admissions, time space personal management, digital libraries, computer assisted instructions, computer based learning, web based instruction, web based learning, computer based evaluation, online testing, paperless office and digital communication and full networking should be realized in educational institutions. There should be provision for specialization of teachers on technology for the disadvantaged learners such as visually challenged, hearing impaired, deaf and dumb, autistic, disabled. These teachers require very intensive and exhaustive education. There is need to be technology culture in the educational institutions. Every teacher needs to be techno savvy net savvy and info savvy. ICT aided constructivist approach should be practiced by every teacher for promoting innovation, creation and construction. There should be MOUs 
between technology agencies such as NCTE, UGC along with Intel and other agencies for developing rich educational technology culture in India. Moreover, a teacher has to be fully technology literate. The leader has to, uh, teacher has to be proficient on audio scripting, video scripting, computer programming, software programming, web designing and communication protocols. The teacher has to be highly skilled on both production and consumption uploading and downloading. Every teacher needs to be educational technologist. Over and above, a teacher should be a good creator and communicator. Digital technology can facilitate both creation and communication of information. To sum up, we can say that a large number of teachers feel alienated and alone in this digital age of networking and globalization. It is because there is absence of technology integrated education. The 21st century teachers are lost in the realm of technology. They are neither techno savvy nor info savvy. They travel through the media crowd without being sensitive to it. There is need for teachers to modernize temporally, spatially, logically, epistemologically and technologically. Technology can facilitate transition from dot to globe and point to morphology. Like radio is extension of voice, TV is extension of views, computer an extension of brains. Similarly, cell phones, iPhones, multimedia, iPads and e-books and all other forms of technology are the extensions of human life. Dear friends, Technology can multiply the speed and lifespan. It can facilitate last full meaningful life and living. At the same time, to overpower technological disease and discomfort, it is required to be sensitive to the basic values. At last, I would like to conclude by saying that if someone fly at high altitude and with high speed, then he needs to learn cybernetically when to and how to exercise bricks. Thank you.